Given f of t, we need to determine the Fourier transform f of omega. Now, looking at this function, we realize that it can be decomposed into the sum of two rectangular functions. 1. A rectangular function stretching from negative 3 to 3 and having the value negative 1 and another stretching from the times negative 1 to 1 and having the value 2. Now writing f of t in terms of rectangular functions we get negative rectangle t over 6 plus 2 rectangle t over 2. Now we refer to the chart that gives us the Fourier transforms of functions. We realize that the Fourier transform of a rectangular function is as follows. Now carrying out the necessary manipulations we arrive at this final answer.